Hello guys, Susanna here. I am very excited to share with you this beautiful pack that I'm calling Pretty Pastels, but they're pretty vintage pastels. So, oops, excuse me, just adjusting my seat to a little bit higher. Yeah, they're pretty vintage pastels. Um, my son was coming home and I had to transfer all my craft stuff and everything. And so I had a lot of stuff. I got rid of a lot of stuff. And in that unpacking and putting stuff in tubs, I happened to find all these beautiful um, vintage and some of them antique stuff that I've been stashing since the 90s. Um, some of them are recent ones I've just bought, like this one. It's just gorgeous. So I will take you through it. There is about 16, no, 15 pieces. Or there's two little pieces here that I'm classing as one because um, it was from a tablecloth and it was two little pieces um, so there's 15 pieces of vintage fabric three um, vintage quilt pieces um, what I would class as like three sort of motif bits and three vintage pieces of lace so um, it's probably one of my prettiest packs I've ever done um, and then some I'll just show you some of the stuff like this I've got this piece here which is the bits and pieces I've been using in my um, the journal of stitchery so like I've got that there um, so this is a type of stuff you know and I've got a big piece of that there um, there's that exact piece here there which I made into a pocket see this is the type of stuff you can do with it see that's that same piece I've got some of this fabric in there which I've gotten from my stash and then this latest one here and that's that other piece um, which I put on there so I'm using a piece of this fabric um, in each of my even if it's only a little piece in each of my books um, and I just thought um, I got my stuff from um, online but I didn't realize I had so much stuff like you're just drawn to um, beautiful pastels anyway I'll progress to show you so you get this piece here these are the Samadhi this is vintage that I bought a while ago the colors are just gorgeous this is from a beautiful tablecloth and you get two of those little extra pieces as well and I'll give show you the little pieces some of them pieces were just I just only had remnants left and you only get little small pieces which is that and this is from a tablecloth some of them have got the pink and the green and others have got um, where are they? I haven't quite packed them yet most of them are pink and green yellow and sort of like this purpley color but um, I wanted it rather than having one a big piece you can have smaller two smaller pieces um, this piece is a recent purchase but it's still um, from like it's an antique piece I got it from an antique market and it's oh, it's stunning beautiful so that's a fairly good size piece actually I might do it that way I had this in my stash this is a um, vintage piece that I bought I think 1950s and it's just just beautiful absolutely gorgeous so actually I might put it on there like that this piece if you've been following me a while um, when I did those vintage hearts and this was a beautiful 1950s um, curtain and I had enough to I've got 20 kits actually I probably have less because I've got a lady that pre-ordered stuff so um, a Sanderson fabric absolutely gorgeous so this was um it was almost big well, how what size was it um in fact quarter size which i cut up so some of them got that some of them got a bit more blue yeah um this was a vintage beautiful vintage sheet um i unpicked where i can and i washed them some of them still have um some marks and stuff on there but they're vintage this is stunning this fabric it's really pretty some have got 
more of the floral in there I just had to cut up as I went this is a real soft um, really soft green um, that was from either was I think it was a, a vintage top or um, pillowcase or something like that um, this was something that I bought on eBay years ago same with that this this one here and that green one um, and the Sanderson stuff I've had for years um, and that's all I had I really tried to cut it up so that's just a square this is sort of like a linen pink linen from a was a really nice um, top so um, beautiful really soft this I bought see some of the pieces if I if I got them bigger I will get give bigger pieces um, from a vintage market that's really pretty it's sort of 1950s maybe 1960s um, this is a beautiful old tablecloth so you can see some of them have got this has actually got I've washed it and I've sprayed it and it still has spots in there um, it was just hard to get out that's beautiful and the work that's been done on there um, really soft blue sheet that I've had to sort the colors because it's pretty pastel that one just went really well and this is actually French linen um, I think linen combo it's a got a if you're lucky enough to get one of these pieces you can probably unpick that um, that's a generous size because I had a quite a big bit of this so I got this at a vintage market as well and it was had on the back French linen and I'm like it was made in France I'm like oh see every now and again I'm lucky enough to find some French pieces so this is I might put it on the white you can see a really soft baby pink I mean blue this is um, like that's vintage this is probably almost antique they almost look like little birds really sweet and I made it the length of the thing and this is another vintage piece as well these are more vintage so they're not super old that one's probably 80s um, these are more probably 90s so they're just um, I use this piece for um, I had quite a bit of that because I had a queen size quilt that I cut up <laughs> um for my galah so you get a good piece this would actually make a really good um what's the name a uh, little pocket thingy where are we where am I one um a needle case or something like that I think that's what I had originally kept them for and then last but not least we have got this is um this beautiful antique um, Sanderson piece I'm making up the kits from those beautiful stuff that my sister gave me for Christmas and I had to cut off end here and here as well so um, rather than get rid of them this is like antique Sanderson it's really from it's from a Jacobean couch um, and I thought rather than you know getting rid of it I'll just add this as a bonus piece to your kit so there you go absolutely beautiful beautiful pieces um once these are gone they're gone i won't you know i may i've got quite a bit of this and extras of other stuff but most of the most of them like i said once they're gone they're gone so um yeah i've only got what i've got and i thought i'd clean out some of my stash actually i might Put this here there we go and then these along here so yeah I've got quite a bit of a stash of um, fabrics and laces and all that kind of stuff that I have been hoarding and I thought I'd share it with you guys now let's see how well this is gonna go down oh did, did good did good Suze this is how I'll pack them and I'm using this as an example and I'll fix that later so there you go guys absolutely stunning probably one of my prettiest that I've done I've actually kept some of the remnants and stuff when I made the kits I'm like oh I'm probably going to use them in my journal of stitchery 
as well um yeah i just love it so um hop onto my etsy store and um yep first in best dressed and thought i'd share some of these beautiful beautiful fabrics with you guys okay guys thank you very much and i will catch you on youtube